Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn how to configure inter-VLAN routing using a layer 3 switch with a lab demo. So here's the lab topology. It's the same as usual. We've got switch 1 through to switch 3, and we've got our engineering and our sales PCs plugged in there. I've already configured all of the layer 2 VLAN configuration. So I've configured trunks going through from switch 1 to switch 3. I've configured my sales and engineering VLAN, and I've configured my access ports to put the correct PC into the correct VLAN. Let's verify that first. So I'll go on to switch one and if I do a show interface gig 0 slash 1 switch port I see that that is configured as a trunk and it's using native VLAN 199 and if I do a show VLAN brief I can see that my VLANs have been configured and I've put the correct ports into the correct VLANs. Let's check that everything is working okay at layer two. So I'll go into my Eng PC, I'll ping Eng 2 10.10.10.11, which is on the same switch, and that's working fine. And ping 10.10.10.12 over on the other side on switch three, and that's all good too. Obviously, if I try to ping 10.10.20.10, .10, a PC in the sales VLAN, that's not going to work because I haven't configured my routing yet. So let's do the inter-VLAN routing first. So if we have a look back at the topology diagram, I'm going to use switch 2 as my layer 3 switch. I'm going to configure SVIs on here for VLAN 10 and for VLAN 20. So let's do that now. So on switch 2, I'll go to the enable prompt and then global configuration. And let's just check what we've got on here already. So if I do a do show IP interface brief, you see that I've only got the physical interfaces apart from I do have my one VLAN interface, which is VLAN 1. If I do a do show VLAN brief, I have already configured the VLANs on here. I don't have any access ports on this switch. Okay, the first thing that I need to do is to enable IP routing on the switch to allow it to route between different IP subnets. The command to do that is just IP routing. Next, I need to configure my SVIs for my engineering and sales VLANs. So to do that, I create interface VLAN 10, which is the engineering VLAN. It's a logical interface, so I see it comes up immediately. And I'm going to add IP address 10.10.10.1 with a slash 24 subnet mask. I also need to configure my interface for VLAN 20 and it's going to be IP address 10.10.20.1.255.255.255.0. So that's all I need to do. Enable IP routing and create my SVIs and now my PCs should be able to route to each other. So let's go on to Eng1 and try pinging over to the sales VLAN at 10.10.20.10 again. Again, it will probably drop the first ping or two, and there we go, it's now working. So that's all I had to do to configure my inter-VLAN connectivity using a layer three switch. But if we go back to the topology diagram again, I also want to have external connectivity as well. Right now, my PCs, so engineering and sales PCs inside the campus have got connectivity to each other, but I want them to have connectivity outbound as well. 
So I need to configure routes from switch two up to router one and from router one up to the service provider. So we were already on a switch. So let's do the switch again. So that's going to be on interface fast zero slash one. So on switch two, if I do a show IP interface brief, I see that my VLAN interfaces will show up in here now, but I haven't configured the IP address on fast zero slash one yet. Now let me show you what happens if I try to do it while it's a layer two switch port. So if I go interface fast zero slash one and say IP address 10.10.100.1 255.255.255.0 it's going to give me an error message saying you can't configure an IP address on here what I need to do first is say no switch port that converts the physical port to a layer 3 port meaning that I can put an IP address on it so if I now try the IP address command again I don't get the switch complaining and I'll do a no shutdown on here and then a show IP interface brief. And I can see that the interface is configured. It's down, down right now because I haven't configured the interface on the other side over on R1. So let's do that next. So I'll go on to R1, config T. And what most places normally do is if you've got a fast zero slash zero and a fast zero slash one, use zero slash zero as the outside because the zero looks kind of like an O and use fast zero slash one as the inside because the one looks like an I for inside. Just keeps things a little bit more logical. So this is going to be interface fast zero slash one on the inside and I'll configure IP address 10.10.100.2 because it was dot one on the switch. I'm using a slash 24 mask here. Real world, you'd probably use a slash 30 and do a no shut. I also need to configure my outside interface, which was fast zero slash zero IP address 203.0.113.1 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown here as well. Let's check that the interfaces have come up okay. So I'll do a show IP interface brief. We're up up, so that looks good. I'll check I can ping out to the service provider from R1. So ping 203.0.113.2. And that's working okay as well. Let's check I can ping my PCs on the inside from R1. So I'll ping eng1 at ping 10.10.10.10. And that is working okay. All right, so I still need to check I can ping from the PCs on the inside to the outside. So from eng1, I'll ping 203.0.113.2. Okay, I'm getting a destination unreachable from the default gateway, which is switch to. So uh, I've probably forgot to put the route on switch to. Let's check that. So on switch to, I'll do a show IP route. I should have a static default route pointing upstream to R1, and that's the problem. I forgot to put the route on switch to. So let's fix that. I'll say IP route 0.0.0.0, 0.0.0.0, and actually point up to R1 at 10.10.100.2. I'll check I can ping out to the service provider from switch two now. So ping 203.0.113.2. And that's looking good. So I think we should be okay now. I'll try the ping again from the engineering PC. And yeah, it can ping out to the internet. So we're all good. We've got connectivity going everywhere. And we've got the layer three switch, switch two, acting as the default gateway for all of the PCs. Okay, so that was all of our different inter VLAN routing options. See you in the next section. Thanks for watching.
If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.